I'm Rachel Karch. I'm the chair for Flowcon 2018. Hi, I'm Sam Salinas. I'm the co-chair for Flowcon 2018. So as a little bit of a newcomer to Flowcon, you've been to, uh, you, this will be coming up on your third. Um, yes. What do you think? What were your observations about uh, being kind of a newbie at the conference? One of the things that resonated with me well was the, the welcoming community and the fact that um, a lot of the participants, a lot of uh, people attending had come through almost, you know, 13, the, the previous 13 Flowcons. What is the Flowcon community? There isn't any one single type or role person who attends Flowcon. Um, one of the things that I like about Flowcon is we tend to get people from a lot of different aspects of security. We have people doing um, hands-on operational work. We have people who are doing more research-oriented work and, and people from academia. Uh, there are managers who attend uh, and there are vendors who attend. So we really, um, we have a good mix of people who are all interested in uh, data analysis in support of security operations. That's something that makes us unique. We're not uh, just focused on uh, an incident responder or a network analyst, but you know the thing that binds uh, the Flowcon community together is everybody is focused on cybersecurity. Um, so what do you think makes Flowcon unique from other conferences? Well, you're not going to get lost in the crowd here. Uh, again, it's not uh, an overwhelmingly big conference, but um, it is a conference that packs a big punch. We have a good high impact. So I think another thing that makes us unique is um, we aren't a general security conference. There are a lot of those already, and they do a very good job uh, with that uh, type of subject matter. We do have a specific technical focus because we are focused on data analysis, but that's still provides a lot of opportunity for, for a lot of different types of work. You know, mm -hmm. there really isn't just one uh, type of project that you would see uh, with those presentations. We still get a very wide range of submissions, um, but focused on a specific technical area. What have you learned at Flowcon? I've learned a lot. Um, there's a lot of different subject matter there, and, and one of the things that I like about it is um, there, there's really something for everyone. There are some very uh, technical deep dives, you know, if you're somebody who really likes to get into the math of uh, how a particular analytic works, we typically have presentations that are on that level. We also have some presentations that are very operationally focused and very focused on, you know, what can the network defender do today to help protect their network. So we really cover that, that wide range of, you know, for, for the people who want to get deep into the tech, We've got that, and for, for people who want to stay very operationally focused, we have that too. Last year, the, the DARPA team was using uh, some new, cool mathematical um, techniques to, to discover bursting or anomalous traffic with, using NetFlow. I thought that was really interesting from, from, uh, from our standpoint, well, from a, a research standpoint. Um, and also learn that you know when you throw the the microphone ball, you know not everybody can catch. It's pretty interesting. Also, as well. not everyone can throw very well. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, Rachel, as as chair of Flowcon 2018, what's new this year? Well, there's a few things that are new that I'm very excited about. Um, in the past, uh, the focus for Flowcon has really been on network flow, and that's that's the way it started. Really, mm -hmm. was a conference very tightly focused on network flow. And what we found over time was that um, the submissions that we received, uh, people really want to talk about things in addition to network flow. And we also see that trend in the work that we do. Wow. Uh, more and more uh, people who are defending networks aren't just interested in using one type of data to do it. They want to use every form of data they have mm -hmm. in order to um, provide the best security. So new for 2018 is we're really changing the focus of, of Flowcon. It's no longer just about network flow or even just about network data. Um, we've expanded the scope of the conference to be uh, data analysis in support of security operations. So any type of data mm -hmm. now um, and any type of data analysis is fair game for a uh, presentation. Mm -hmm. The tagline for the conference is using data to defend. Mm -hmm. We think that that sums up very well what the conference is about. Rachel, we have some awesome keynote speakers. Yes, we do, and I'm really excited. Uh, our two keynote speakers are uh, Marcel Vandenberg from Team Cymru. He w does a lot of work in cybercrime, uh, which is obviously a topic that is very much in the news lately. And we're also going to be hearing from Major General Baker, who is the commanding general of Netcom. 
Uh, he is one of the leaders in the Army, really pushing for the idea of bringing data analysis into uh, network defense and security operations. So we're very excited to have both of them. So Sam, I've never been to Tucson before, and you used to live in Tucson, so why don't you tell me what can I expect to do when I'm there? I used to live in Tucson for eight years. I'm excited to go back. Um, if you're an outdoorsy person, um, there's running trails, there's cycling. Um, I'm personally excited to be able to go out and run Sabino Canyon uh, and possibly go up to Mount Lemon for, for some pie. We're gonna be at the Hilton El Conquistador, which has an awesome uh, resort and landscape, and there's some great restaurants uh, not too far of a drive away from our hotel. Um, I ask that you look to me if you need any local recommendations, but I'm really excited to be back in Tucson.